So I was on a work trip when this whole coronavirus pandemic thing started happening. Uh, so I had my nephew CJ collect eggs for a couple days. We got 48 eggs, I think is what he said. Uh, and we're incubating them. They're at 99.9 .9 degrees. They're supposed to be at 99.5, but I think we're all right there. And 50% humidity. The gauge is upside down, so we're at 49%. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to candle a couple of the eggs and I'm going to use some of these lighter colored ones up here because my chicken's eggs are super, super thick, the egg shells, so it's, it's kind of difficult to candle them. I, uh, I'm going to compare it in the video to an egg that was laid today, one of these light colored eggs that I have from today. So I'm just gonna show you my living room floor here. You could buy a fancy candling kit, but this is all I'm using is a toilet paper thing, because that's the new gold these days. It's the new gold standard, and a really bright flashlight. This thing's crazy bright. The problem with this light, this flashlight, is it does produce heat. So I don't wanna get the, the egg that I'm incubating too hot. But here's the process. I'm gonna turn the light in the house off because you'll get a much better view, but you're lighting up the egg from the inside like that. So let's check it out. Okay. So with this egg that was laid today, the dark spot on the inside, it might be a little bit hard to see, but that dark spot in there is the yolk. So you can see there's not any real development at all on that egg. So let's grab, that looks like a crack, but oddly enough, you cannot see that crack really in the light. I'll turn the light back on and show you, but it's pretty incredible what you can see with handling an egg. That's what it looks like in the light. So I'm gonna go grab a, an egg that's been in the incubator for 11 days. So these are 11 days of incubation and we'll check it out. Okay, this egg has been incubating for 11 days. It's smaller than my uh, toilet paper holder, but you can see the embryo starting to form right there, those little dark spots. Flip it around, Ooh, that's bright. You can see the air sac is starting to change. So I'm gonna swap this one out. This one looks like it's doing well. I'm gonna grab another. This is the second one I'm gonna show you. It's been in the incubator 11 days again. It's much bigger, so it'll fit in our little toilet paper holder. Yeah, see that difference right there? That's the embryo forming. It's not just plain round like a yolk. It's the beginnings of a little bird. So people are out there hoarding toilet paper and stuff, and I'm just hatching more food. This is the kind of thing I believe in. I enjoy doing this anyways. But that's it. I might show a couple others, but it's pretty cool being able to uh, raise your own food provide for your family and neighbors if they need. Okay, this is egg three. It's a little bit darker of a shell, but you can still see, I don't know if you can see in the video there, the little dark spot right here, it's the embryo. It's actually moving around. See it there? Pretty crazy cool. Hope you can see that on the video. Awesome. So at this stage in their development, they should be getting scales on their legs. And uh, it look like a little tiny chicken. And you can see it right here. 
moving around in there. That's awesome. Learn how to grow your own food, folks. And I really want to show you the difference. So the other eggs I've shown you are this color. These are the thinnest shells that my birds have. This one, you can kind of see the difference in color, but this shell is a lot thicker. So we'll light this one up and check it out now. Much more difficult, but you can see them in there. See that little bugger moving around? Super, super cool. So these chicks are due to hatch on Easter Sunday. So I've invited a, another YouTuber friend over to do some videos together. I hope they can show up. It'll be fun. So that's how you incubate eggs. You do it just to see how many of the eggs are viable. I'm not going to go through and do it with all my eggs. Every time you take the lid off, it changes the temperature a bunch. Um, and that jeopardizes the whole incubation, I think, a little too much, more than I care to deal with. I'm all sweaty. I uh, was actually in the hospital for three days. I, my work trips take me to New York and uh, Boston last couple weeks, and that's where the epicenter of the coronavirus is in the States. So I had a crazy temperature and went into the hospital. They kept me and put me on oxygen and stuff. Got a bunch of video, but they said the coronavirus test was negative, so I wasn't gonna post it. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it or if anything, but anyways, that's why I'm all sweaty.